everyone i'm very glad to see you today with me i hope you are fine today and uh, let's start our lesson uh, so I hope the previous video was clear for you and there was no problem with your home task, okay? So today we uh, still are going to deal with articles, okay? Um, and uh, let's uh, start. So uh, today uh, we will cover the topic when do we use article. So do use the before. Names of rivers, oceans and seas, for example, the Nile, the Pacific. Good, the next one, point on the globe, point on the globe, it is, it is the equator and the North Pole, equator and the North Pole. The next one is geographical areas geographical areas in the the middle east and the west the middle east and the west the next one desert forests gulfs and peninsulas uh, gulfs it is zatoke um, and peninsulas uh, I hope you know what is it. It is uh, Napiv Ostrove. For example, the Sahara, the Persia, Persian Gulf, the Black Forest, and the Iberian Peninsula. Peninsula. The Iberian Peninsula. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So so it's very important to learn them because uh, you are going to have new task based on this rule. Good, let's move on. And here we have a mission of articles. What is it omission? Yes, right here. Opuskaimo artike. For example, uh, some common types of nouns that don't take an article up. Deyeki tipe imeniki vyeki ne Bila sebe čuho pravilno artikli. For example, names of languages and nationalities. Nazve čuho mov ta nacionalnosti. For example, Chinese, English, Spanish, Russian. But uh, unless you are referring to the population of the nation. For example. The Spanish are known for their warm hospitality. Ispanci vidomi znani zavdjaki jihni tepli hostinosti. V danom vipadku idece pro ispanci ne jak pro nacionalnost, a jak pro, nas, jak pro naselenje. Ne nacionalnost, naselenje. Good, next one. Names of sports. Vede sportu. Volleyball, hockey, baseball. Mm -hmm. Names of academic subjects. Mathematics biology, history and computer science. So with these words we don't use article, we just omit it. Okay, so please bear it in your mind. And uh, guys, as usual, you are going to... Uh, uh, so your new idiom is C I to I. So the meaning is to agree with each other, and uh, example, Neil and Simon never see eye to eye about anything and are always fighting. Uh, here is your home task. You need to put the correct article and send it to my mail. So that's all for today. I hope it was useful for you. And please uh, send me your home task. And see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.